it's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. I'm glad you're still with us. Our guest is Dennis Zine. He's a member of the LA City Council. He's also running for controller of the City of Los Angeles. That election will be held in March of 2013. And I want to speak with you about the Office of Controller. Um, I remember interviewing Laura Chick quite frequently. Wendy Gruel is currently the controller. And both of those individuals would conduct very splashy audits, finding all this fraud and abuse and uncovering uh, mismanagement. And then nothing would seem to happen. And not necessarily as a fault of their own, but they don't have the power to enforce the results of the audit. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. So, so uh, it's frustrating because they it are, is. it's great work that they're doing. Is it the city council that can enforce the results of the audit? The controller does the audit. Okay. Waste, fraud, abuse, performance of departments. Right. Turns that into a committee. I'm chair of the a committee. city council committee. City council, city council committee. Government efficiency, audit government efficiency. I'm the chair of that committee. We take that audit. We dissect that audit. We then move forward with recommendations. The council sets the policy. Then it goes to the mayor. He signs it. We change the policy whichever the policy well, so we're talking about. So do you about. feel as if, whether it be Laura Chick, whether it be Wendy Gruel, have you been instituting the recommendations of their audits? Because I see the headlines, but I never really know what happens after the headlines. Well, after the headline splash, $7 million missing, right. $3 million, Coliseum right. Commission, Building Safety, right. you got scandal after scandal. We implement modifications, changes, correct the situation. That doesn't splash. That doesn't but get a headline. are you implementing? Absolutely. Since I have been there, and the chair of this committee, which is a very important committee, Audit Government Efficiency, we have been implementing those changes that are recommended. The audit will show a problem, recommendations, we take those to committee, we review those committee changes, and then it goes to the full body of the council. Then you find the change, but that change isn't getting attention. What gets attention is the, the scandal. The audit brought forth a scandal. Financial information has to be disseminated. People don't care about well, that. I, All they care about is are they doing their right. job? And when you find scandals, the Coliseum Commission scandal, right. when you have money disappearing, those are the issues. And what we implement change, those changes now take hold, take policy, building safety, for example, big scandals in building safety, people have been arrested. That whole department has been modified. The operation has changed. We've implemented change, but it doesn't get the publicity. But what I'm wondering is, should it be that the controller actually has the authority to implement change. Well, the way it works is the controller is independent. You've got the mayor, right. city attorney, and controller. you're elected. Only you're four elected. controllers elected in the state of uh, um, California. In the state of California. So what you are is the controller that works independent of the mayor, independent of the council. But you do the audit independent, and then you make recommendations with that audit to that body, which is the city council. But I want to push you a bit. I mean, should the controller have the power? vis-a-vis -vis the city to implement changes that he or she recommends? Or is it is it a solution looking for a problem that well, it, the changes are being recommended? You've got the separation of powers. you got the independence of the controller. You've got the policy makers, which is the city council. If you start interfering with that, mm -hmm. now you're going to ruffle the feathers of the council because the council says we set policy. Controller does not and cannot okay. set policy. But the independence of the controller's office is so important to remain independent from the mayor. That's why it's so important you have an independent controller, the elected. independent mayor, and the mayor is independent from the council. You've got the separation of powers. In the federal, you got separation of powers. One house reviews it, the other house reviews it, goes to the president for signature or a veto, whatever the case may be. We need to maintain that independence. At the same time, the controller can make recommendations, but it's up to the body of the city council. When I inherited this committee and I asked for it, there were 38 audits that were sitting mm. that had not been acted upon, and the person who was in charge of it wasn't doing anything about it. I said, this is important. Audits are important, and the follow-up is critically important, or we're going to lose the system. Okay. His name is Dennis Zine. He is a member of the Los Angeles City Council. He is running for controller of this city. That election will be held in 2013. For Time Warner Cable's Local Edition, my name is Brad Pomerantz.